Hello everybody, this is the Starving Martian, and you know, I got a few pieces, uh, three in particular I'm thinking of right now, of uh, Mars Attacks memorabilia from uh, back when the um, movie originally came out, uh, the Tim Burton movie in 1996, and I've been hesitant to uh, show them off until now, because as I said, these have been part of my personal collection for many, many years, and uh, they are missing accessories, the electronics don't work, there's no packaging, instructions, anything like that to show off with them. But um, that being said, I figured now is as good a time as any to break some of these out, dust them off, pop them in front of the camera for you. And so this is the Martian Ambassador from the Mars Attacks movie. Uh, it's a very nice looking piece. Um, we're going to take a look at the details in just a minute, but um, let me just give you a little bit of um, a little bit of history on this guy. When uh, the movie came out, uh, there was two lines of Mars Attacks action figures that were released. One uh, with uh, figures and accessories that were tied directly to the movie, and another one of figures and accessories that were um, based more closely on the um, Topps comic books that were out at the time. Now we're going to take a look at one of those figures uh, coming up in the future, but uh, for now we're going to look at this guy. For the movie line, there was a, um, a UFO, which I've already um, looked at a while back. Um, if you missed that review, uh, just uh, click on my name, Starving Martian, and uh, you'll find it under either the Martian... Uh, merchandise playlist or the Martian Peace Theater playlist should be under both. Um, but as far as figures go, they only made two Martian figures. They made the Martian Spy Girl and then they made the Martian Trooper. And uh, they took the Martian Trooper and uh, they slapped a red cloak on him to sell as the ambassador and a purple cloak on him to sell as the commander. Uh, so this is the exact same figure as the Martian Trooper is, which is why the um, cloak doesn't like wrap around exactly the same way as it does in the movie. Uh, this is just the Martian Trooper figure with a cloak uh, put on for uh, decoration. But um, be that as it may, with the cloak on, he does have a certain uh, regal standing. If uh, you don't like the cloak, if for whatever reason you come across one of these and you really wish you had a Martian Trooper, just yank the cloak off. Um, as far as accessories go, like I said, I am missing one accessory. It comes with a double-barreled missile launcher with a hair trigger. It is so easy to lose the missiles on those things. I've lost not only the um, missiles, but the launcher itself. If you're curious what that looked like, there's an excellent um, video online. It's also in my liked videos list. Um, it's a promotional video for a Kickstarter program for the uh, Mars Attacks Occupation card set and uh, at one point the Martian in there which is a more modern um, mezzo mezco figure however you pronounce that um, actually uses the um, double barrel missile launcher or seen with it so so that's there if you want to see what that looks like uh, but he does come with this uh, gun here which is a nice representation of a uh, Martian handgun gun is removable and uh, with the gun out of his hand he's got his finger extended like this so uh, it's pretty cool he could actually do you know the international sign of the donut uh, he's got a, a little red button up here you press that to activate the um, sound gimmicks which as I said the electronics on this thing sadly don't work anymore but when you pushed it he would say and um, each of the Martians would say that, and then they each had a um, line of English they would speak as well, as if it was being translated by the infamous translator machine, um, something along the lines of, we come in peace, and that sort of thing. Blatant lies, but um, what are you going to do? So, um, the uh, hood here is removable. Let me get a closer look at his... Uh, it is noggin there without any reflection from the hood. You can pop that off. You can see uh, the great detailing work that went into his brain.
And yeah, this is not only well detailed, but well painted. I like that little lighter uh, tone going down the middle there. Circle around, you get those, um, ah, falling Martians. You got those um, metallic bits on the side of their heads. Little ganglia there on his cheek. And a nice healthy set of chompers. The uh, suit is well detailed. Um, with all the uh, etchings and ribbings that uh, you would see in the movie. And uh, I do appreciate the fact that they you know, didn't go overboard on that. They didn't add any details that weren't needed. And they just let it be simply what it is. Now if you look at the back of the figure. Here is his oxygen tank or methane tank or whatever aliens breathe tank. Um, little screw hole here so where you would change the batteries. He has um, those annoying little watch kind of batteries, watch cell batteries. And as I said, the electronics on this guy work. The one, the other ones I'm going to be showing off, um, uh, Martian commander from the um, tops line and also a Martian uh, gun, um, brain ray. Um, both of those run on double A batteries, and both of those are completely shot. You can put new batteries in; it doesn't do a thing. So I haven't even bothered trying to change the batteries in this guy. But if you lift up, you can see how the cloak's just been cut here to let the um, oxygen tank through. If you lift up, you see a little peg here. See that peg? That tabs into this uh, screw hole and keeps the cloak in place and the cloak also attaches up here and these might be glued into place um, there's a little bit of resistance when you try to tug them out so I haven't you know pulled them out fully but I imagine they can be removed easily if you so desired so we'll arm our friend back up with his gun again there we are and uh, that's about it that's all I have to, to oh one thing I meant to show when his helmet was off, if you look on the top side, they actually sculpted in like his tiny little <laughs> scrawny shoulder blades going down. If you remember in the movie, the uh, Martians are quite skeletal and uh, most of their bulk comes from their spacesuit. And they actually give a hint of that where you could see uh, the little bit of um, his shoulders and, and back there going down into the suit. I thought that was a nice detail. Now these guys are starting to get more expensive on the secondary market. Um, I've seen them running between um, 18 25 up to $40. Do not pay that much for one of these. You could get them cheaper. And um, as I said, they come in uh, three flavors. Um, Ambassador, Commander, and Trooper. Uh, personally, I think the Trooper is my favorite just because that's just your average... Uh, Martian, you could easily do some army building, but you will be paying for it. And so if you want one of these, snag them now before they get even more expensive than they currently are. And uh, that's about all I have to say. Uh, this has been the Starving Martian, guys. Uh, we'll be back to you next time with some more uh, Martian merchandise. Uh, we got more trading cards coming up, all that good stuff. But until then, I bid you adieu and keep watching the skies.